Hello guys, welcome to Urban Rock. Today I'm going to explore this pretty big abandoned care home. I don't know how long it's been abandoned for. I think roughly around a year, I think. But I'm going to be exploring with Lewis Merrin today and I'm going to be joined with Neil Brown Explores. So head on over to their two YouTube channels. Give them a subscribe as well. And let's go and have a look see inside this beautiful abandoned care home. Yeah, guys, as you can see, this is quite a big building. Cobwebs already. And these gardens are absolutely beautiful too. So I think this has been abandoned for about a year, maybe two years. I'm pretty sure it closed um, due to being around a million pounds in debt. And there was also um, found on the website that there was a neglect here with some of the patient um, residents staying here. Which you'd find it hard to believe at the minute because it is absolutely looking beautiful. Already the views cross over the back, you can see for miles. Abandoned little greenhouse with us. Some of the residents were probably doing a bit of planting. Let's have a look through. Let's see what the back's like quickly. We'll look inside. Oh well, guys. Let's see if we can find a way in and uh, we're going to explore this really beautiful looking care home. Well, guys, we managed to find a way in to this really nice looking uh, care home. Straight away, the staircase is absolutely beautiful. That's a nice staircase, and then just literally grabs your attention this fireplace here. You can be careful of the windows just in case you get seen by anyone walking, walking past. This is a nice little entrance hall. Have a quick look under here. That's locked. That's false. Full store, I think. There is a little layout um, floor plan here so you can see how big this place is. There's certainly some nice features left here. There's so many cobwebs, keep walking into cobwebs. I don't know if you're going to see this, but it's not picking up, but the view across there is absolutely beautiful. Would it be nice to. Uh, Would have been a nice little room to be in that one. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. I'm not going to film names because there's some names on the door. Now, I don't know how many people were in this uh, care home, but Neil said it was about a million pounds in debt and that's why it's closed. Don't smell too good in this room. <laughs> that is not nice in there. Just <laughs> find my torch. I've got one, I've got one on my phone. It's fine. It does smell in here. But I'll be a little bit dark just for a second. There you go. I mean, look at the state of it in here. Yeah, that is not nice in here. Sorry. <laughs> so did you have any trouble with him? Oh. I didn't see anyone. Oh. Maybe they'd gone out when you come in. Yeah. There's some really nice lights in here, this place though. Hey. Why is there trouble already? <laughs> what? <coughs> no, there are so many nice little features in here though. Toilet in there, is it? Oh, okay. I said there's some nice lights in this place. What a beautiful room this must have been. It said on the door, dining frame, uh, dining room. Look inside the kitchen. It's interesting. Oh, it's all right. Jesse Bill, you know. Yeah. So, all right, I'll see you later. That's all right, mate. Have a good day, mate. What places do you go? Do you go to the like, underground places? You know, yeah, you? if I can get into any. Yeah. Yeah, look up, yourself, mate. Look at this tap. It's 
Postol is still here. We've still got a few little bits and pieces left in here. I, mean, I suppose that's still in there. That's another stairway up, I think. Is that another stack up to the next floor, does it? So it doesn't go up as high as the other one. Oh yeah, you've got rooms along here. I've got to be careful of how they are. Touching this one. So is this mirror. See little things like that. I'm surprised they didn't. I'm surprised they didn't uh, get taken with them. Yeah. Yeah. Number twenty-one. Somebody's asked us not to go into a number 16. Cool, straight for another cobweb. God, Jesus Christ, that's why it stinks in here. <laughs> that, to oh, that toilet is an absolute mess. No, that's number 21, so somebody's asked us not to go in that one, so we'll we'll respect that. I've got a few little uh, staircases around this building. I thought it would have been just the one. I didn't even notice this one downstairs. Maybe I missed a bit. I'm going to quickly head down here. See where this leads to because I don't know if I've missed anywhere. Toilet. Oh, it's dining room again. Just the safe. Yeah, this, this would have been a big safe. Absolutely solid. Look at the size of these door hinges. That's like. Don't know how that operates. 
It would have been a key or something in there. And there's a lift. <clears throat> I'm going to head back on upstairs. If I can find my way. That's basement. I remember that is there. Did you see the old safe down there? Yeah. It's oh, 21. Don't want to do 21. Yeah, but even still, I don't want to, just in I'm case. Huh? Yeah, not much, uh, quite empty rooms. Oh, just empty, is it? Yeah. I've yeah, been it's in this one. Room. No. Oh. No, it's just an empty room, by the looks of it. Yeah. <laughs> I think quite a few might be empty. Nice views across that greenery bit. <laughs> yeah, some somebody who must be staying here clearly must be sitting there having a nice beer, looking out across here. You can see for miles. But whoever had this room must have also had that balcony. And that must have been quite nice for them every day. I'd have loved to have woken up with that. Here, back onto the uh, main staircase. This place is huge. Oh God. <laughs> Always make him jump somewhere along the lines. <laughs> Strange, this is three bedrooms and they all interlink with each other. I've seen that before. I've seen your one or two rooms interlink, yeah, but not three. Let's back up here again. Oh my God, the smell in this place is unreal. There's two people living in this one then. Each room is different though. Some, sometimes when you go into a care home, all the rooms are exactly the same. Yeah. Whereas each, each one here is just, just a completely different layout. <laughs> Make him jump again. <laughs> oh. Check his curtains out. Same as this one. 
Are we working our way up and going down yeah. to the kitchen? Yeah. Check out Dave's room. Size difference. Yeah, it's really small, this one. Yeah, it's really small. I don't know if these are how sort of correct they are, because if you come around on some of them, like this one here, it says communal shower. Here on here it says Mrs. Harvey. Yeah, but it's the uh, detail on some of these features makes this place really nice, in my opinion. So everywhere you go is something a little bit different. Yeah. They've still got medication in here, haven't they? More bits and bobs. A lot of things probably would have been uh, cleared out. Another printer in there. Put down that one in a minute. No, nope, another one was closed. Ah, oh, that'll be why. <laughs> Things people do leave behind, like one shoe. <laughs> when I was here, there was nothing at all in here. This is quite a big room, this one. I think it's one of the biggest here. Fire escape here. Get the taps to work. <laughs> don't know if the, uh, the electric don't work. Yeah, this room was empty when I came. It's the starting of the room. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's the first, first room we come to with different colour walls. No. What's my camera going to have to focus for? Well, I'll go down that way. There you go. That's the forbidden corridor. Are you going down here, can't you? 17. 17 there, and 16, just don't go 16. Pull that one, I think. That one there seems to be closed. That's fine. 
we'll leave them on to line. And I'm 16 was there. First pink room. So when you walk in this room, it, it's like a little cottage, like a bedroom from a cottage. Yeah. You know. It's open. Ah, oh, this, that's the, the other, oh, sorry. <laughs> Right. It's the other staircase we saw. So there's two more rooms left by the looks of it, then there's the basement. It's another toilet area. I'm hoping there's something really nice and interesting in one of these. Gardens here are pretty big. We're going to head down to the basement quickly, so I'll be back in a second. Yeah. Um, right, so you've got a kitchen area there, then I'll come across this earlier. Ugh. Stairs going down. Oh, I can see them. He shows I'm new at this. Oh, there's a door down here as well. It's got your electrical paint, uh, boxes. Got to make sure this door don't close because it's got no handle on it. You need something to keep. Oh, it's a big old spider. Still wheelchairs down. Oh, there is a handle on that side. It's fine. Oh, and there's an old coal chute there as well. Is that a little incinerator? I think that's a little incinerator. I'm not too sure. If you know what that is, please leave a comment below. It does look like a little incinerator for um, sort of nappies and soil bed sheets, maybe, or beyond washable. Look when it's supposed to be next. Hmm. I wonder where these stairs come from. Oh. Strange, there's just a set of stairs there leaning up against the wall. Look how much this is bowed down from Lewis's head. Yeah, I'm gonna. Go back out. Well, oh, guys, we've come out of the building now. We've just explored that. There are people squatting in their building. Um, so please, if you do ever find out where this location is and you want to come and explore it, they seem quite nice, but they did sort of say just to keep out of some of the rooms what they're staying in. So please, uh, if you do come here exploring, don't go in the rooms. They are if they if you bump into them, don't go in the rooms that they've uh, asked you not to go in. Just out of a bit of respect, people sort of like 
they've got nowhere else to go if you know what I mean but <clears throat> Neil said that there might be a building down here so we're going to have a look at the outbuildings they've already headed down nice little apple tree and this really old gate here we're at the bottom of the garden now anyway Well, that's open. I have to get my torch right, I think. A few little bits and bobs in here still. A few hoses, a couple of old tools. Then look at this here, like a little annex. Wonder if this was for the workers. Oh no, it's not an annex. I thought it was like a garage or something. It's not. Doors wide open. So it's like two buildings in one. I wonder what this part was for. Notice, look how big this door is, how solid. I don't know if that will show up. Yeah. Very solid door that. Go up there in a minute. Let's have a look around the ground floor first. Ah, so it was another extension to the care home up the top then. That's a safe, someone's tried getting in there. Look. Somebody's tried getting into it, obviously they've failed. Be nothing in it anyway. Chess is much smaller than the other one. It's a bit more colourful in this part, isn't it? The ones uh, in the other care home up the top there were a little bit dull in some rooms. Whereas down here, it seems a bit more live, livened up, a bit more colourful.
Well, here water running. Water running through the boiler. Is that a lift? Remove this box. Yeah. Someone's uh, flip flops down the bottom there as well. Just open. Whoa. There's the lift there. It looks like somebody's uh, tried doing this place up before it closed. I did see on one of the doors about um, an isolation room in the other part of the care home. Um, so obviously that's for COVID. So I'm wondering if this place was getting refurbished like new liquor paint during the COVID era and then closed down before they finished it. Let's have a look upstairs. <laughs> oh, this must have been like the living room then. That's where the lift comes up to. So I just said this is where they all sort of gathered round watching telly, having a chatter, enjoying the beautiful views across there. Couldn't have been another bedroom. I wonder what this one would have been. Maybe it was another bedroom. Maybe it was a bedroom for one of the workers here with the um, fire escape there. And then access to the rest of the buildings through here. This was definitely the living room part. Mm. Oh, yeah, that smells in here. Still towels and that uniform in the washing machine. Mm. 
Do you know what it is in the washing machine? Mm. Whoa, what's that? It smells. Yeah, it stinks in it. I've got to come out of here. Dad's not nice. Wasp. Nice. What in there? Yeah. Oh, don't just fucking come out. Not oh, great. You've got to go back in the smelly bit. <laughs> Keep it get stung by wasps or smell <laughs> whatever the hell that was. <laughs> oh. You're still washing it, washing machine. Yeah. Well, guys, that brings an end to the explore for these two um, care home buildings. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it interesting. If you haven't done already, please click the thumbs up button, leave a comment below, follow Lewis and Neil, follow, find their channels on uh, YouTube, and give them a subscribe. I'll see you guys again on another explore. Thank you very much for watching.